Read the following information carefully and answer the questions. In a playground, some children are standing for playing a game. Ram is standing 16 meter east of Sham and 20 meter to the north of Daya. Daya is 6 meter to the east of Ravi who divides the vertical straight line joining the two children Shiva and Balu in 5 to 6 ratio from Shiva to Balu. So I think instead of wasting our time in reading the question or the reading the clues here, let's east of Sham. Now you know the cardinal directions, right? East, west, north and south. So uh, nothing to be confused about here. Ram is 16 meter to the east of Sham. So let's assume this is Sham's position, right? Sham. So Ram is 16 meter east. Right? This would be east of Sham. So Ram is here. This is Ram. Okay? And, and the distance is 16 meter. Right? 16 meter though, east of Sham. So that is done. Ram is 16 meter east of Sham and 20 meter to the north of Daya. So when, when we use the word and, we refer to the first person. So basically we are saying Ram is 16 east of Sham. Right, Ram is 16 east of Sham and Ram is 20 meter to the north of there. See, Ram should be 20 meter to the north of there. So, there would be 20 meter to the south of Ram. So, go to the south of Ram. 20 meter to the south of Ram. So, this is there's position. Right, this is there's position, 20 meters. Okay. So, between Sham and Ram, it is 16. Between Ram and there, it's 20. So, that's done. Now, there is 6 meter to the east of Ravi. There is 6 meter to the east of Ravi. So if there is six of east, if there is six meter to the east of Ravi, Ravi would be six meter to the west of there. So just go west of there, six meters, right? Six meters. This should be Ravi. This should be Ravi. Let's say Ram here. Sham is H, Ram is R M, Daya is D Y, and Ravi is R V. So that we don't get confused. So that's the uh, plotting so far. If you have understood, uh, very very simple uh, positioning here. Now comes the challenging part. What does it say? See, there is 6 meter to the east of Ravi. Who? Who here refers to Ravi? Who divides the vertical straight line joining the two children, Shiva and Balu, in 5 is to 6 ratio from Shiva to Balu. So basically, Ravi is the person, Ravi is the person who divides the vertical straight line joining two children, Shiva and Balu, in 5 is to 6 ratio. 5 is to 6 ratio. What does it mean? See, I'll, I'll plot it separately to explain it to you, right? For example, let's say, this is uh, Shiva's position, right? Uh, just a second. Yeah, for example, let's say this is Shiva's position, right? And here is Balu. So what is Ravi doing? Ravi is dividing the vertical straight line joining Shiva and Balu, right? Ravi is, let's say, somewhere here. Ravi is dividing the vertical straight line joining Shiva and Balu in the ratio of 5 to 6 from Shiva to Balu. Meaning from Shiva to Balu, the ratio is 5 to 6. So from Shiva to Ravi, it will be 5 parts. From Ravi to Balu, it will be 6 parts. I know, it, you know, uh, pictorially it looks actually opposite. Ravi should be closer to Shiva in that case. But yeah, you have understood the point, right? Ravi divides the vertical straight line. There is a vertical straight line. You can see this is a vertical line joining Shiva and Balu. So Ravi is dividing this line. In what ratio? 5 is 6 ratio. From Shiva to Balu. From Shiva to Balu. So 5 parts from Shiva and 6 parts from Balu. So the point where Ravi stands is dividing this straight line in 5 is to 6 ratio. But the question that comes up is how can we confirm if Shiva is on the north of Balu? It can be vice versa. Balu can be on the north of Shiva. You understand? Shiva and Balu can interchange their positions. And then this will be 6 parts and this side will be 5 parts. So that is not clear here. If you observe, there is no clarity with respect to that point. All we know is Ravi is dividing that line in the ratio of 5 to 6 from Shiva to Balu. But is Shiva above Ravi or Balu above Ravi is not known to us. And I think then uh, it just continues. The distance between Ravi and Balu is three-fifths of the distance between Ram and Daya. What is the distance between Ram and Daya? 20. What is three-fifths of 20? Three-fifths of 20 is 12, right? This goes four times, three-fourths is 12. So basically the distance between Ravi and Balu is 12. The distance between Ravi and Balu is 12. So six parts is equal to 12. Six parts is equal to 12, which means five parts will be equal to 10. So now we can actually say that five is to six is nothing but 10 meters is to 10 meters is to 12 meters. You understand? He says distance between Ravi and Balu is three-fifths of distance between Ram and Daya. This is 20. Three-fifths of 20 is 12. So 12 is... 12 meters is equivalent to 6 parts. So this should be 5 parts. So even that is clear now. The exact distances in terms of meters is known to us. But 
द क्वेश्चन दैट स्टिल रिमेन्स अन आंसर इज इज शिवा अब बालू और बालू अब शिवा सो आई थिंक वील हैव टू लिव विद दैट कन्फ्यूजन अंटिल वी गेट अ क्लैरिटी ना नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज राहुल इज एट मीटर्स टू द ईस्ट ऑफ बालू एंड ट्वेल्व मीटर्स टू द साउथ ऑफ मनी हु इज नॉट इन लाइन विथ रवि एंड दया so basically as you all can understand there are two possibilities we have to try out both and see which one satisfies this condition right i'm sure this condition should give us the clarity so let's try it out what i shall do is take a chance i'll, I'll take a chance i will draw a straight line uh, let's assume shiva is above shiva is above here right sv and balu is below balu is here bl and we know that shiva to ravi is 10 meters and uh, balu to ravi is 12 meters right i am going with that assumption this assumption if it goes wrong then we will swap it now read the next point rahul is 8 meter to the east of balu rahul is 8 meter to the east of balu so this is balu rahul is 8 meters to the east of balu so go 8 meters so it's obvious if this was 6 meters 8 meters should be longer rahul comes here rahul is 8 meters to the east of balu right this is east of balu and 12 meters to the south of mani Rahul is 12 meters to the south of Mani, so Mani should be 12 meters to the north of Rahul. So Mani would come here, right? This would be Mani. You understand? See, this was 12 meters. Ravi to Balu was 12 meters, so Rahul to Mani also would be, you know, mapping with this this horizontal line here because these are two parallel lines of equal distance, right? So Rahul is 8 meter to the east of Balu and 12 meter to the south of Mani. You can see Rahul is 12 meter to south of Mani. Or money is twelve meters to the north of Rahul. Now look at this point, money. Who is this? Who here refers to money? Money is not in line with Ravi and Daya. If you observe, money here comes in line with Ravi and Daya. You see, Ravi, Daya, and money are all in the same straight line, right? Ravi here, then Daya here, and then money here. They are all in the same straight line, right? But the question says, or the data says that money is not in line with Ravi and Daya, which means money should not come here. If money doesn't come here, then Rahul will not come here. If Rahul doesn't come here, then Balu cannot come here, and then Shiva cannot come here. So we can we can now conclude that the assumption that Shiva will be above Balu is wrong. It should be the other way around. Balu should be above Shiva. So now we'll have to do the other uh, thing, right? The other uh, possibility. Now because of lack of space, I'm just quickly reversing the whole thing. I mean, I'll, I'll clear this uh, mapping that we have done and take the other. possibility right so i'm just clearing the unwanted part whatever we have done after getting ravi's position okay so i know that this is not the case it should be balu above and shiva below so this should be this should be 10 and this has to be 12 right so ravi is here let's say this is 12 meters and we have you know here and rahul is 8 meters to the east of balu east of balu cross this right this is 6 meters so rahul is 8 meters rahul comes here this is rahul right rahul is 8 meters to the east of balu and 12 meters to the south of mani 12 meters to the south of mani rahul is 12 meters to the south of mani so mani should be 12 meters north of rahul this is 12 meters and this should be mani right and money is not in line with ravi and daya now you can see that money is not in line with ravi and daya right money is here ravi and daya are here right so money is not in the same straight line with ravi and daya earlier he was coming in the same straight line but now it's not so we have got the correct plotting now imran is standing 8 meters to the east of shiva imran is 8 meters east of shiva where is shiva shiva is here imran is 8 meters to the east of shiva east of shiva would be this 8 meters Again, understand this line was eight meters on top, so this should also be eight meters. This will be Imran. Okay. Remember, see, we are not doing it to the scale, like exactly eight meters or not. But we have to always ensure that if you are saying eight meters and you know that this is six meters, so eight meter line should be more than six meters. So try to extend it a little. Otherwise, the questions based on directions may go wrong. Are you getting it? As such, if you see the sixteen meter line. and this 8 meter line looks almost the same here but ideally 16 meter should be longer so so take care of those those things otherwise you may get incorrect answers okay so imran has been marked there imran is 8 meters to the east of shiva who again who divides the straight line joining imran and rakesh in 4:5 ratio from imran to rakesh now who here refers to shiva 
So it says Shiva divides the straight line joining Imran and Rakesh. Shiva is here. Shiva divides the straight line joining Imran and Rakesh in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So obviously if Imran is this side, Rakesh has to come on the other side. So this should be Rakesh. And Imran divides, sorry, Shiva divides this straight line in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So this is 4 parts from Imran to Rakesh itself. From Imran to Rakesh, the ratio should be 4 is to 5. 4 is to 5. Imran to Rakesh, right? This side is Imran, this side is Rakesh. So Shiva will divide that line in the ratio of 4 is to 5. So if this is 4 parts, 8 meters, then this should be 5 parts, 10 meters. Okay? Interesting, Shiva is dividing this in the ratio of 4 is to 5. Don't get confused. So why did I write 5 is to 4? Because Imran is on this side. So 4 parts come this side and Rakesh is this side. So 5 parts on that side. Clear? That's the plotting. Now that you have plotted it, you can answer the questions easily. Right? Let me clear these things. Clear all the unnecessary things. Now, look at the questions and mark the answers. So, I think you have to have thorough knowledge of directions and how to, you know, do the mapping or how to trace the directions or the positions with, with this kind of data. So, complex looking structure, but let me tell you that with practice, this becomes easy. So, this is Sham, Ram, Mani, Rahul, Balu, Ravi, Daya, Shiva, Imran and Rakesh. And distances are given there. Let's go back now. Let's, let's look at the questions. First question, if Dinesh is 15 meters to the east of Sham, then at what distance and in which direction is Mani with respect to Dinesh? First of all, Dinesh is 15 meter east of Sham. This is an if condition, right? If, if Dinesh is 15 meter to the east of Sham. So try that. I'll just change the color so that we don't get confused. What does it say? Dinesh is 15 meter east of Sham. Sham is here. Dinesh is 15 meter east of Sham. See, this is 16 meter east of Sham. So Dinesh will be somewhere here. Meter. This would be Dinesh. Yes or no? You read it. Dinesh is 15 meter east of Sham. 15 meter east of Sham. Yeah. Then at what distance and in which direction is money with respect to Dinesh? In what at what distance and in which direction is money with respect to Dinesh? See clearly direction can be understood. Money is in which direction with respect to Dinesh? Northwest. See, this is north of Dinesh. This is north of Dinesh. Right? This is uh, sorry, not east. This is east of Dinesh. So anything that comes between north and east can be taken as northeast. So I can conclude that money is in northeast direction with respect to Dinesh. Money is in northeast direction with respect to Dinesh, right? In which direction money with respect to Dinesh? Northeast. So check the options. If there's only one option, then we will mark that as the answer directly. Yeah, southwest cannot be the answer, west cannot be the answer, northwest cannot be the answer, cannot be determined, cannot be the answer because the answer can be determined, right? Yes or no? Distance also can be determined, I'm assuming. Distance can be determined. This would be 1 meter. Yeah, I'm sure distance can be determined if you... Yes or no? Just, just pay, you know, be careful. If distance cannot be determined, then the answer should be option 5. I'm assuming distance can be determined. 5 meter distance can be determined. Uh, because... Um, yeah, I mean, if you plot it properly, you will be able to find the gaps and you will know what is this distance. Uh, so this is... So this is 16 meters up to Ram. Money is 15 meters. So here it is 1 meter. Right? Now if I see I have come down 20 meters here. And this is 6 meters. Which means if, if I plot it like this here. The remaining part should be 10 meters. See this is 6. Total 16. So this should be 10. This side it should be 10. Right? But anyway I wanted this side. 16. Mm, yeah. So if we come down further, sixteen. If this is yeah, this is ten. This is six. So this also is six, which means this is two meters. You understand? From this intersection to Imran's position, it is two meters. I think the same thing will continue
you, you're getting the point. If the plotting is done properly, we can get the answer. And done properly as in, of course, in terms of direction, it is correct. It should be north, east only. But to find out the distance, you know, you have to draw the, you know, right angle triangle. There will be right angle triangle between Dinesh and Mani, right? And, and I will leave that to you. This is Dinesh's position. This is Mani's position. Find out the horizontal distance x and the vertical distance y. Horizontal distance can be calculated. You understand? You just have to find out this distance. Right? From here to here. Whatever is the distance from this point to Rahul will be the distance between uh, Dinesh to Mani. Right? Likewise, if you see from this point, the vertical distance is 20. 12, this is 12. So out of this 20, if 12 is gone, 8 is left out. Right? And out of this 12, if this is 8, then remaining will be 4. So I'm sure y is equal to 4. You have to find out what is x. x also can be calculated. And then find out the answer. We want to do x as well. Uh, how much will x be? Yeah. See, this is 2 meter and here this is 1 meter. This 1 plus 2 will give you 3 meters. You understand? From Dinesh to Mani. So from Dinesh to Ram, it is 1 meter. From Ram to this line will be 2 meters. Because this is 2 meters, this also will be 2 meters. You understand? This is 8 meters, this is 8 meters. So whatever is the extension 2 meters comes here. So 1 plus 2, this is 3. And this y is equal to 4. So d to m should be 5. Because this will be root over 3 square plus 4 square, right? This side, will be, the hypotenuse will be root over 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is square root of 25 equals to 5. So this is going to be 5. So clear, I think answer can be determined, which is option 1, 5 meter northeast. Remember, why did we spend time in finding out the distance? As such, it is not required. If suppose fifth option were given as 3 meters south uh, east, then fifth option gets eliminated because we know that the direction should be northeast. Right? But since cannot be determined was given, I just wanted to be sure that distance also can be calculated. And yes, we found that distance can be calculated. It will be 5 meters. So done. Let's move to the next question. Uh, which of the following group of students can be joined to form a rectangle? Which of these students can be joined to form a rectangle? Check. Balu, Rahul, Ravi, Daya. Uh, Balu, Rahul, Ravi and Daya, no. Because between Ravi and there, the distance is 6. Between Balu and Rahul, the distance is 8. It cannot be a rectangle, right? You see, this, this line joining Rahul and Daya will not be a, you know, will not be parallel to the line joining ba Balu and Ravi. So it will not be a rectangle. Option 1 is eliminated. Balu, Rahul, Imran, Shiva. Check that. Balu, Rahul, Imran, Shiva. Yes. This looks like will be a vertical, uh, will be a rectangle. Because Balu to Rahul is 8 meters. Shiva to Imran also is 8 meters, right? And Balu and Shiva are in the same straight line. So obviously Rahul and Imran will also be in the same straight line. So this becomes a, rect a rectangle. You, you're getting it? You see, this is 8, this is 8, and this is a straight line. Balu to Shiva. So this also will be a straight line and will be of equal length. So I think option 2 will be the answer. Option 2, Balu, Rahul, Imran, Shiva will be taken as the answer. Right? 8 meters, 8 meters, whatever this is, 12 plus 10 to 22, so this also would be 22. Done. Option 2. Next question. Uh, is the next question connected to the first one? Amar started walking 6 meters towards east, then he took a right turn and walked 12 meters, then he turned right and walked 8 meters. Now he walked 8 meters to his right and then took left turn and walked for 2 meters. Finally, he took a right turn and walked 4 meters to reach his friend Yashwant, who is 12 meters to the west of Mani. Okay, so money is the connecting point here. If Lassia is 6 meter to the east of Sham, okay, Sham also is common here, then Amar is at what distance and which direction with respect to Lassia? 
Okay, this is interesting. So I have to go back to the plotting that we have already done. Let me just clear all the markings in red so that we can try whatever is given in the third question there. Yeah, just a second. All that red marking was for the earlier questions. I'm clearing it off. Because a lot of stuff has to be done here, I guess. Okay, so let's move to the next question. I mean, the third part of it, I'll... So what does it say? Amar started... Let's, let's forget about uh, Amar to uh, Yashwant. We will do this later. First of all, connect... I mean, start from here. Yashwant is 12 meter to the west of money. Plot that. Yashwant is 12 meter to the west of money. Money is here. 12 meter to the west of money. 12 meters to the west of money. Okay, so this is this is Yashwant. 12 meters to the west of money, right? Lasya is 6 meters to the east of Sham. Lasya is 6 meters to the east of Sham. Where is Sham? Sham is here. 6 meters to the east of Sham. So this is 16. 6 will be somewhere in between. Mm. Yeah, 6 meter. This is last year, let's say, east of Sham. Remember, Yashwant will be somewhere in between Sham and Ram. Because the, the line connecting Sham to Ram is 16 meters. And we know from Ram to Mani it is 3 meters, right? Earlier we had calculated. So 16 plus 3 is 19. And from that 19, you are going back 12. So you will be... You know, you will not exceed or you will not cross Sham's position. Yashwan will not cross Sham's position. Yashwan will be stopping. I mean, Yashwan's position will be before Sham. You are able to follow? From Sham to Ram, we know it is 16. And from Ram to Mani, we have already calculated for one of the earlier questions, 3. Right? Or 3 or 2, whatever it was. 2, I think, yeah. Not even 3. It was 2 and then 1 here. For Dinesh, we had calculated, sorry. So 16, 16 plus 2, 18. From that 18, you are going back 12. So obviously, you will be closing before itself. So Yashwant is before Sham. And then he says, last year, 6 meters to the east of Sham. 6 meters to the east of Sham. Okay. Then, Amar is at what distance and in which direction with respect to last year? So with respect to last year, Amar is in which direction and what distance? Now, Amar will be connected to Yashwan. So, we'll have to do that drama now. The tracing. Amar started walking 6 meters to the east. Then he took a right turn, walked 12 meters to the... So, we'll do the reverse tracing basically. Because Yashwan is already fixed, right? Yashwan is already fixed. So, let's do the reverse tracing. Yeah? So, what happened? Finally, he took a right turn and walked 4 meters to reach his friend Yashwan. He took a right turn and walked 4 meters to reach his friend Yashwan. Mm. See, let's do the plotting of Amar here itself. Amar started walking 6 meters towards east. This is Amar, let's say. He walked 6 meters towards east. Right? Uh, then he took a right turn. So when he's walking east, he takes a right turn, he will be facing south. Walked 12 meters. Walked 12 meters. Then he turned right and walked 8 meters. So now he walked 8 meters. Right? Now he walked 8 meters to his right again. Okay, 8 meters to his right again. Then took a left turn. This time he took a left turn and walked for 2 meters. And walked for 2 meters. Right. Finally, he took a right turn. So he is facing this direction. He took a right turn and walked 4 meters. He walked 4 meters to reach his friend Yashwant. This should be Yashwant. You are able to follow. So if wherever is Yashwant, Amar will be in this place. What is the understanding? See, Amar walked 6 meters towards east, then took a right turn, walked 12 meters, then again he took a right turn and walked 8 meters. So, of course, he will exceed the 6 meter line. He then walked 8 meters to his right. Then he took a left turn and walked 2 meters. Then finally, he took a right turn and walked for 4 meters. So, if you observe, if you observe this 8 meters plus this 4 meters, this vertical distance 8 meters and this vertical distance 4 meters will be equal to 12, 8 plus 4, 12. So basically, Amar and Yashwant are going to be in the same straight line. 
that is very very important yes or no we are trying to find out amar's position with respect to yashwant all this tracing is not required what we finally want to know is what's the distance between amar and yashwant so vertical distance is zero because this was 12 and this 8 plus 4 is also 12. now horizontal distance how do you measure that see this is 6 and this is 8 so if you observe extra distance here would be 2 yes sir this was 6 meters if this line is 8 meters then this side will be 2 meters this 2 plus this 2 total 4 i think the horizontal distance between amar and yashwan will be 4 meters so in in simple words we can say amar and yashwan are in the same straight line and the distance between them is 4 meters so basically uh, yashwan is 4 meters to the west of amar or amar is 4 meters to the east of yashwan that's the idea you already plotted, plotted Yashwant here. Mark Amar. Amar is 4 meters to the east of Yashwant. Just do that. If Yashwant is here, Amar will be 4 meters to the east of Yashwant. This side, Amar here. Right? What is the distance between Amar and Yashwant? 4 meters. You able to follow? Now, what is the question? Amar is at what distance and in which direction with respect to Lassia? So, the same thing again needs to be done. Amar will be at what distance with respect to Lassia and in which direction? Yeah. So, do that plotting. See, if you draw the triangle separately, we know that between Sham and Ram, the distance was how much? Uh, 16 meters, right? So, if this is Sham, this is Ram, the distance is 16. And then, Lasse is 6 meters to the east of Sham. So, in between you have Lasse here. This is 6, this is 10. Total is 16. You are getting it? I am just plotting that, that piece separately. Look at this. Between Sham and Ram, the total distance should be 16. 6 plus 10. And we know that last year is 6 meters to the east of Sham. So last year is here. Now, plot Amar and Yashwant. Mm. What is this vertical distance? We have to find out. See, we had found that this distance, see Dinesh was on the same straight line, if you remember, with respect to one of the earlier questions. And vertical distance between Dinesh and Manish was, uh, sorry, Dinesh and Mani was how much? Uh, 4 meters, right? This distance is 4 meters. You remember? We had got the right angle uh, triangle to find out the distance between Dinesh and Mani. This was D, this was Mani. We had got this as 4 and this is 3. We know that Mani, Yashwant and Amar are all in the same straight line, right? So I can say there's another horizontal line, let's say. Distance between these two lines is 4 meters. Yeah, but how is the plotting there? Uh, see, this was 16 plus 2, 18, right? Ram is up to, two. you go 2 meters further and then you have money here after 4 meters. You getting it? Distance between this horizontal line and this horizontal line is 4 meters. 6 plus 10, 16. You extend by 2 meters. Remember, this extension was 2 meters. So, 2 more meters. There is this common point, one corner. Now, from Mani to Yashwant, it was 12. So, 6 plus 10, 16 plus 12, 18. And then go back 12. So, I think this will be Yashwant's position. Because Yashwant to Mani, the total distance was 12. Right? So, 2 here and 10 here. Covered. And then, from Yashwan's position, Amar is 4 meters inside. This is Amar. This is Amar. So, this side is 4. And then, obviously, this side would be 8. Because 4 plus 8 should be total 12. Now, what is he asking? In which direction? And at what distance is Amar from last year? Do it. See, so this is 4. This also is 4. You can do the calculation. 
ये सुनो अमर इज इन वॉट डिस्टेंस एंड विच डायरेक्शन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू लसिया अमर इज इन विच डायरेक्शन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू लसिया अमर इज नॉर्थ ईस्ट एंड वॉट द डिस्टेंस कैलकुलेट डिस्टेंस इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर स्क्वायर प्लस फोर स्क्वायर राइट दिस इज अमर यशवंत एंड लसिया here this is 4 and this is 4 so this distance will be root over 4 square plus 4 square 32 you know hypotenuse root over 4 square plus 4 square so 4 square plus 4 square is uh, 16 plus 16 32 under root 32 or we can take it as 4 root 2 so answer to this last question should be northeast And distance is going to be 4 root 2. Amar is at a distance of 4 root 2 in the northeast direction with respect to last time. Yeah, those were the three questions asked along with that set on data interpretation. I think a very interesting one uh, and, and complex in terms of plotting it very, very uh, meticulously, right? If you don't consider, I mean, if you don't have that direction sense of making sure that a six meter line is shorter than an eight meter line in your diagram, in your plotting, then you will get wrong answers, right? Because northeast could become northwest, northwest could become northeast and so on, if lens are not taken appropriately. And when distance also is required, you have to be very, very careful, right? While you need not do it using a scale, you have to be up, you know, very, very close to the uh, scale there. You understand? So do it properly, neatly, and I'm sure you'll be able to solve the questions. A little practice would make you do these things faster and of course do not go by the amount of time that i have spent here because i was explaining it to you and not doing it for myself right when you do it for yourself you can think a lot of this stuff yourself and avoid writing in paper right so i think interesting question complex one posted by sony here and that's the solution okay let us now see if you have questions here for this questions 4 root 2, yes, 4 root 2 will be the answer, Sony. What is the question? Distance between Lassia and Amar. Yes. You only get posted this, right? Why are you asking the question to me? Was it not the question? Amar is at what distance and in the direction with respect to Lassia? Uh, Shankar Rao says, initial position of Amar. No, initial position of Amar is not known to us. You have to, that's why when we were dealing with the third question, uh, Shankar, uh, we took some position of uh, Amar and traced his path and found what exactly, what exactly is the final distance between Amar and Yashwant. And since Yashwant is already marked in your diagram, you can accordingly mark Amar there. Exact initial position is not given directly. Sony has got a doubt. Uh, should we consider initial position of Amar or final position of... Okay, I'm not able to follow you. Uh, should we consider initial position of Amar or final position of Amar? Okay, hold on. I think a very, very important point raised by Sony here. Yeah. One silly error that I have made here is I consider the initial position of Amar. I think we should consider the final position of Amar because see, we marked Amar somewhere and then traced his path and he reached Yashwant. So Amar and Yashwant are in the same position actually. And does it mean we are wasting our time all this while? Finally, he took a right turn and walked for 4 meters to reach his friend Yashwant, who is 12 meters to the west of Mani. Then Amar is at what distance and which direction with respect to Lassia? Let me just present it, guys. Understand. Important point. We assume that this is Amar's initial position and we trace his path. 6 meter right, 12 meter right, 8 meter right, 8 meter right, or left, whatever it is. And then finally, he reached here to meet his friend Yashwant. Which means Amar was traveling all this while, right? And Amar and Yashwant will be together. Yes or no? 
he he walked for four meters to reach his friend Yashwant, who is twelve meters to the west of him. Now, if Lasya is six meters to the east of Sham, then Amar is at what distance and in which direction with respect to Lasya? So this is Amar's initial position, and this is Amar's final position. Remember, Amar's final position in this case will be equal to Yashwant's position. Okay, let's see what happens if we do that. So basically. We can say that Amar is here itself. This itself is Amar's final position. This is Amar's initial position. This is Amar's final position. Now find out the distance between Lasya and Amar. Yeah, so I think made a mistake here. Answer will not be northeast and four root two. This would be wrong. See, this is not like if. If, if the question says if Amar started walking 6 meters towards east and so on, then he would reach his friend Yashwant after tracing so and so path, then we can say Amar is actually standing here. And if he walks, then he will meet Yashwant in this fashion. But in this case, it's not an if condition. It says actually Amar started walking. So if Amar is walking, then finally when he stopped, he was here along with Yashwant. So very good point, uh, Sony. I think we should consider Amar standing here along with Yashwant in this position. And now find out the direction of Amar with respect to Lasya. It will be northwest. It's not going to be northeast, right? Amar is at Amar is in which direction with respect to Lasya? He will be north in the northwest direction. This is northwest, right? This direction is northwest, north and west. And distance you can calculate, right? Uh, so this is twelve. This was uh, how much? 16 plus 2, 18. So this is 6. You understand? Sham is here. After 6 meters, we have Lasya. Then Yashwan's. This is 12, right? And this was. Yeah, Yashin will be exactly about us here as we have estimated already. This this itself. Sorry, this plotting has already been right. This is Yashwan, then this itself is Amar's final position. So Amar is in what distance? Sorry, north even northwest. It will be in the north direction and four meters. I'm sorry. See again, that's what I told you, right? If your lines are longer or shorter, you may go wrong. But actually, in our final analysis, we found that Yashwan and Lasya were in the same straight line. In fact, Yashwan was four meters north of Lasya. So Amar also will be four meters north of Lasya. 4 meters north. Yeah. It should be 4 meters north. Sorry. Lasya to Yashwant is 4 meters north. So Lasya to Amar also will be 4 meters north. 